Most video games have titles, right? Well, here's one that doesn't. Not exactly, anyway. Name This Game, released by US Games in 1982. With a title like this, you'd figure the game is probably so bizarre in content that no title really fits, so they just said fuck it, name it yourself. But that's not really the case. You play as a scuba diver who just recovered buried treasure, but there's a shark that's pissed off about it for some reason. The manual actually says that the shark believes the treasure is his. So you have to keep the shark at bay, and at the same time, fend off an octopus that's blocking your way back to the surface. They don't really explain what the octopus's beef is. The octopus's tentacles will extend toward the bottom. You have to shoot them down to keep them from touching the bottom of the screen. The tentacles are connected by blocky pixels that shift around. If you shoot the bottom block, the entire tentacle will retract and start its descent all over again. The shark moves across the screen and descends a level each time he gets completely to one side, and gets faster the closer he gets to you. You get more points for shooting him when he's closer to you, but of course then you run the risk of death, so be careful. You also have an oxygen level that will deplete over time. You can refill it whenever your friend up there on the boat drops you a line. Who looks like he's having the time of his life on the boat while his friend down below is fighting for his life against the world's largest octopus and an insane shark that's obsessed with material possessions. You have to get to the oxygen line quickly though, as it won't be available for very long. Holding the fire button down will keep you firing consistently, but the rapid rate isn't very good. Only one bullet will be on the screen at one time, and it doesn't travel very fast, so it's not exactly a fast-paced shooter. The controls are fine, but one complaint that I have is when you find yourself against the edge of the screen. It's a little tough to explain, so here it goes. Your diver will always hold the gun in front of him. When you turn, you'll be firing from the opposite side of his body. Now if you end up on the edge of the screen and turn around slightly, you can't turn back around right away. You have to give yourself some room, so you find yourself shifting away from the edge and then moving back. It doesn't sound like it happens all the time, but you may find yourself in the situation more times than you expect. Other than that, this isn't a bad game. There's just a lack of variety. It's a two-player alternating mode and three difficulty variations. But aside from the speed increasing as the game goes on, nothing really changes. This wouldn't be a huge issue though if the game were a bit more exciting. A few tweaks could have been made and this would be a pretty good shooter. But to its credit, it's fairly decent. The game really should have been given an actual name though. Treasure Diver or Octopus or something. But guess what? There is a legitimate reason for this. US Games offered a $10,000 prize for whoever they felt could come up with the most creative name for the game. But they went bankrupt before the prize was ever decided, and so the game continues to have no real name. Much like Sword Quest, another unfulfilled gaming prize from the early 80s. Such a shame.